I can't think of anything funny to start off this video with. So we're doing Sweden and we're going to try to make a colonial empire like many of the other great powers at the time. So you've heard of the British Empire, the French Empire, even the Spanish Empire. Well, now we are making the Swedish Empire. We will spread licorice flavored things and boiled meat throughout the world. Atmospheric engine, mechanical tools, railways, intensive agriculture. Just another day. Also, lack of infrastructure, so let's fix that. When it comes to stuff we need, apparently we need more fabric and we need more liquor. Thankfully, fabric is super easy to get, so I'm just going to build livestock ranches for that. And then for liquor, we can do rye farms with potatoes, and all of them are actually already set to that. So we can just build more of those, or we can go for food industries, which is what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do that a little bit later, because we don't have very many tools, and I want to get more, so we're going to build one of those in Svealand. We are also going to unpause the game, and then speed up, and let things go, and we are already having the radicals shoot up into the atmosphere. Now, we can't have an empire without an emperor, so we're going to keep a hold of the monarchy, and in fact, I'm going to do something that I usually don't do. I usually go very liberal in this game, but I'm gonna go for an autocracy just cuz one of these events already Wow That I and we've lost basically all of our radicals. All right. I already know this is gonna be a good game King evades assassination Jesus so we can either have this progress by one phrase phase and our king will gain 50 popularity But he's really old so he's gonna die soon anyway, so that doesn't really matter but or we can pick the option that says, this is how liberty dies. We've got 200 authority left after decrees, so I'm gonna use that to bolster the intelligentsia because we are getting an autocracy, which means that the government has to consist of our king's interest group. And our next person is part of the intelligentsia, so we're gonna be bolstering them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. He's also a romantic, how charming. All right, here's an idea. Let's cancel this tooling workshop and let's build a whole crap ton of construction sectors. If you've been watching the channel for a while, I think you know where this is going. By the way, sorry if I sound very nasally. It's just, I have allergies and it's that time of the year. Oh, autocracy. Awesome, I think. Public schools might be a good idea. You know, actually four is probably enough. Let's pause all and let's use up all of the investment pool before we start constructing stuff again. See, if you spam lots of construction sectors, I'll use more of the investment pool. And you want to use as much of the investment pool as humanly possible because there being extra stuff in the investment pool is completely pointless. So you want to drain this as much as you humanly can. Because when you're using this money to construct stuff, that means that you're not using your money to construct stuff. Like, look at that. They're even doing coal mines. And often they will do railways if they need infrastructure. Ah, the king died. The new one is here. So let's kick the landowners out of the government and get the intelligentsia in here. And oh, we can get the the industrialists in here as well. All right, let's stop bolstering the intelligence here and let's start suppressing the landowners. And I don't have enough authority. Actually, let's cancel intensive agriculture. And then after that, let's work on, where is it, military and then general staff. Skirmish infantry is going to be very, very helpful for um, beating up people. Public schools. Yippee. We're going for a very conservative Sweden here. So I'm going to leave all this as it is. I might actually get national guard at some point but next i'm gonna get dedicated police force because i want to take power away from the landowners because they do stuff that i don't like what can i say i just can't help but do the same thing every single game it's just i can't help it i almost forgot diplomacy so russia hates us and they're a lot stronger than us so let's make sure that they like us enough and also britain they might try to i've seen them conquer norway in quite a few of these games i've played so i'm gonna make sure that they don't do that and also, Egypt might challenge us in the area. And, you know, we just, no point in keeping around the extra influence. So let's improve relations with them, too. Francois Bernadotte. Intelligentsia and moderate. Oh, that's awesome. What a, what a lad. Most of the time in this game, whenever your air spawns in it, they're always a landowner and a jingoist. And I'm not sure why, but it's, like, fairly consistent. Maybe I've just gotten unlucky. But I'm not, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe someone can explain that in the comments. Time for the first target, Madagascar. Right now, I don't really need their resources all that much. So I'm going to puppet them so that I can instead just extract money from them because that'll give them, it'll give me 20% of their income if I remember, right? Oh no, 30% of their income. Okay, I think it used to be 20%. And then I can just annex them later by, you know, going to war with them again. But they'll be weaker anyway because they'll be giving me 30% of their income. So I'm going to make another puppet. I'm also going to ban slavery and take a treaty port so I don't have to land later. And we don't have enough maneuvers to do anything else. Now, hopefully no one else gets involved. All right, it looks like no one else has joined. Let's start mobilizing. Let's make you a general too. Grant command. 
Let's also recruit one. So these are our options. I believe this guy is the best guy because persistent is pretty decent and so is the supply requisitions expert because supply in this game makes no sense. You're hired, dude. Awesome. Ah, uh, the general we, general we start out with is also romantic. How charming. Promote you. Mobilize all generals. Capitulation. Awesome. We have our first colony. Amazing. I thought treaty ports were supposed to automatically build a port, but I guess not. Well, we were running out of investment pool anyway, so I should start constructing stuff anyway. Such as livestock ranches, because we invented intensive agriculture, which means we need a lot of cow poo. Dedicated police force is done. Excellent. Let's move towards something else. Like free trade, the best trade, or uh, never mind, actually, that's going to radicalize the landowners, and we don't want that, so we'll get that later. Colonial exploitation. That sounds like a good idea for me, anyway. Yippee, we have subjugated Morocco. France wants us to become their protectorate. Now that would actually be kind of awesome because then we'd, we'd have a protector and you know we don't have a very big army and you know they're big and strong and powerful, especially in the new DLC. I'm not gonna do this though. While wow, France is just dumpstering Prussia, we're making a lot of excess money. So I'm gonna get rid of some of this taxes and I'm also gonna resume construction. Sure, buddy, you can have a big statue, whatever. Marinia Kingdom demands independence. Why would I say yes to this? Why? Colonial exploitation. This is where the fun starts. So let's establish some colonies. Oh, wait, we can only establish one here because we haven't unlocked uh, whatever the anti-malaria vaccine is called. It begins with a Q, and I'm not sure how it's pronounced. This thing. We now have general staff. I'm going to switch everything over, even though I don't have bullets, and then just import the ammunition. Once this modifier is gone, the conquests will continue. Let's go back to laissez-faire. All right, back to what we were doing. Oh, yo. Let's mobilize just two of you. Let's also get rid of you. We don't need you anymore. I only got you so that I could cheese the game. Meticulous offensive planner. Yes, please. Six against 18, and we are winning. Let's test out this new guy's abilities. Capitulation, wonderful. Now, I didn't actually really want this state. What I actually want is to attack Sokoto, because they are big and powerful, and I want their stuff. So we're going to do the primary demand as ban slavery, so that people are less likely to get involved. I think that might work, but it seems to be working for me. And then we are going to puppet them. Let's mobilize a few conscripts. Just a few. 40 against 80. Yeah, I think we got this. Yeah, it's already over for them. Yeah, and since we have such a technological advantage, we're doing it extremely well here. And there we go. We have puppeted Sokoto. Let's begin improving relations because we really don't want them rebelling because they are big and strong and they might modernize now that they have access to our market and guns and bullets. They are giving us quite a lot of money though. Ooh, that's, that's nice. All right, we're pretty high on infamy, so I'm going to chill out for a minute. All right, this guy's creating a lot of radicals for this movement. So, goodbye. Yeah, we are doing very poorly on the radicals front. However, I do believe a lot of these radicals are based in, uh, not Sweden. Yeah, a lot of them seem to be in Africa. Okay, this option changes him to a reformer, but he's already a reformer, so this really does nothing. Jesus Christ, they're about to start a revolution because I haven't enacted cultural exclusion. Okay, dude, you go for it. Yep, I'm... That's fine. You know, it tells me that when I enact this law, it's going to make almost half a million individuals become loyal. However, from my experience, that never actually happens. It just makes them stop being radicals. Why are they lying to me? What kind of conspiracy is this? Now, here's an idea. I join France in this absolutely pointless war, and I improve relations with them with basically no effort at all and do nothing in the war, but I'll have joined it on their side, so that'll be... They'll see me in a good light, I guess. But you know, we'll send him a general. We'll send him the, the barracks from here, because there's a lot of people there that are making life difficult for me. Oh, look at that. France has become a republic. I didn't even notice that. Do free trade yet? Uh, yes, it looks like we can. Awesome. We have cultural exclusion. And look at that. We don't have half a million loyalists, even though it says that we do. 
Right, there was some issues with uh, supply and demand. I seem to have mostly sorted it out. Once this coal mine is done, I'm going to pause everything again, and I'm going to start conquering stuff, since I'll have all that extra money to play with. Reinforced concrete. Got 11k to play around with. Actually, I'm going to lower taxes. I'm also going to increase government wages because that'll give us a little bit more morale recovery. Isn't that shocking? The soldiers like it when you pay them more. Should I conquer Ethiopia? You know what? Why not? Let's start here. Let us take Djibouti. We're going to take Djibouti. Let me just say that again. Maybe rephrase that. We're going to take Djibouti. Let's puppet them. And let's also take war reparations from Ausa. Also ban slavery and make this a primary demand. And I can't. Mobilize all the lads. Yippee. All right, we're not doing too bad so far. We've gotten most of Nigeria, most of Ethiopia, Madagascar, and Morocco. Seems like a good amount of colonizing for Africa. Let's go somewhere else next. I'm suddenly very interested in Indonesia. Ooh, look at that. That's awesome. There was a lot of radicals up there in the first place. Okay, well, that changed basically nothing. I'm suddenly very interested in Persia. I mean, you know, of course, I'm just looking to trade. I'm not... I didn't just notice that they're using mostly irregular infantry or anything. No, that, that'd be crazy. Independent Finland. Ooh, and he's romantic as well. That's great. <laughs> Making them a dominion. I could make them a puppet, but that's going to put me way over my threshold for infamy. And I don't want to go over 100. I can't really deal with, you know, great powers declaring on me. I'm still pretty weak. Uh, the only reason I'm winning is because I'm just bullying people that are weaker than me. Our emperor is now an alcoholic. <laughs> nice. All right, well, Russia has joined this war. That could be a problem because they like to naval invade. Hey, we have free trade, though. That's something. National Guard. Let's also mobilize all the lads. I'm going to keep Mr. Bernadotte around. So he's going to defend our coastline for the most part because he's a defensive strategist. He's going to be the best for that. Also, he's got the most troops. And then I'm going to send everybody else to Persia. Since they're using pretty crappy troops, we should be good. But there, there is some line infantry and artillery scattered about in those provinces. All right, I don't like doing this, but I'm going to activate all the conscripts. Yep, all of them. Even the African ones. War with Persia, and I just realized all these guys are for some reason still in Ethiopia. Uh, please go back home before the Russians naval invade us, because I know it's going to happen. Now, we actually don't have any open fronts with the, the Russians any, at this point, because, well, Finland's independent. But even if they were, they still wouldn't be involved in the war, and this up here is all impassable terrain. So we actually don't have any friends with them. So we just have to worry about naval invasions. But that that's going to happen. I can guarantee it. See, Russia started naval invasion against Fialand. And yep, our army hasn't gotten back there in time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're winning down here, too. That's pretty great. Oh, they have our capital right now, which is pretty awful. Oh, we're winning, at least. Man, I don't know how, but we we're winning... Right now in Persia, even though it's 6 against 69. Oh no, it's 7 against 68. Close enough. This guy's name is Shartau. Okay, after about 8 battles, we have managed to quell the uh, Russian naval invasion. Had to fight for every single inch of land, every single block in the street. So that was, that was fun. But uh, we're done with that, so we're going to send these two generals over here. Even though this guy... This guy is going to need breast extensions for the amount of honorary medals and awards he's going to get for for getting this far with 8,000 troops versus 87,000. It looks like the Russians have sent a great deal of their army down here, so actually they probably don't have anything defending them anymore. So I'm going to start a naval invasion over here with my uh, general that's over here. All right, the naval invasion failed and our king died as he was doing it. Let's grant command to the new guy who has no traits at all but he's the same ideology as the uh last one trade agreement why not let's try this again maybe we can turn our new king into a war hero or something national guard that's awesome because that increases our conscription rate so we can have more conscripts and i'm conscripting people right now so that is very helpful ah look at that we landed unopposed and it looks like we're gonna get pushed back into the sea but hey at least it was funny come on russia just give up you have nothing to gain here Thought uh, Persia is dipping into the negatives. Okay, so now it's only a matter of time. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, that 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 would be why. This has actually turned out to be the perfect diversion because they've sent all of their troops there. It looks like they're conscripting some of them, and now Persia is left all by themselves. 
Uh, we are, we have a 40% convoy deficit. However, we have subjugated Persia. We have done what no other empire was ever able to do. And there is nothing left for me here. So Russia, goodbye. Our business is done. And the amount of money we are getting from Persia is just obnoxious. All right, our infamy is pretty high. So we're going to have to ease off on the conquest for a while. Then again, this video is already getting kind of long, so I think I actually might want to wrap it up here. If you like this video, then like this video. Consider leaving a comment if you have any challenges you want me to do, any videos you want to see next in Victoria 3, or if you have any videos you want to see me do in a different game. Bye.